Welcome to Shopfield Music. I'm John. Hey guys, I'm Napoleon. Today we're going to be here at Shopfield Studio South working on the camper trying to get some tones. Yeah, one for the strats. Let's do one for the uh, Keith Richards telly. Alright. This is where I'm going to need your ears more. No. So what should we go for? Uh, I Fender. Fender High Power Tweed Twin. Let's go vintage uh, Keith Richards like he did in the 60s, because that's what he did in the 60s. Those are the tones that you and I know and like, and I think the stones are based on that. Now we're going to try this. Let me see that guitar, sir. start with a good tone for sure. Put it in the middle position so you got the humbucker. Here. I blend those, it's gonna be bad. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> that's a heavy humbucker and that's a uh, real high output freaking pickup in the bridge. Seems like bridge. a pretty good place to start. If I gain the gain up, it'll get a little, that brings it close to breaking gain. Yeah, well, yeah, you're getting grit then. More. <laughs> slide on yes that's true too okay that's pretty close right <laughs> already there. off the bat that's pretty nice now what did you pick what was the end well anytime you want to have a keith richards tone if you put your guitar into open g yes you pretty much can't go wrong right i am going through a fender super reverb blackface uh two by i don't know exactly probably a two by twelve Cabinet. Super reverbs were 4x10s usually, or 2x12s. Yeah, I think it's a 2x12 probably. So, um. <clears throat> I guess, I mean, we don't have any pedals, so right. I mean, it's just how loud you want the amp. That, that's not working for me. No, that definitely changed it. Keep putting it back a little bit, maybe too much gain. bass middle and treble on this well a lot of times he took the bass string off his guitar entirely because he said there's a bass guitar player for that and he was probably trying to poke out a little more and he used a telly 
So it's already going to be fairly bright anyway. So maybe roll the high down a little and the mids up again like we did earlier. Let's just see what that does to this amp. Because all amps are different too. <laughs> <laughs> the highs down and the mids up just a little. So what does presence do on a uh, amp? Presence is uh, it just you know, it's at noon right now. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna turn it down to nine o'clock. I think if you're not in the mix maybe as much as you want to be, you would probably crank the presence to get back in the mix. Okay. Let's see what this does. It dead. It killed it. Yeah. So twelve o'clock I think is a good point. Let's go way above and see what happens. I think that's a little too much. But that's what it does. Obviously, it does adjust things, doesn't it? Yeah. I liked it right where it was at. Yeah, I mean, it's got some growl to it. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Now, that's in the middle position. That's fine. Yeah. Humbucker only. Now, Humbucker and a Telecaster without changing the. Yeah. Who knows? That's heavy, man. <laughs> I want to roll that down a little bit. Let That's heavy. That one. Keep the tones up all the way because you want it brighter. Keith Richards right there. Honestly, for this song, there's not a whole lot of effects I would really use. I don't, I don't think Keith Richards used a lot of effects. <laughs> so I don't even necessarily have to go through and figure that out. When I decide I want something for it, I'll throw it in there and I now know how to store it. That's but right. that seems to sound good to me. I like it. Um, what do you guys think? Now, mind you, this is my condenser microphone. Are you recording the... I'm not. Okay, so you're not going to get... My condenser mic is on right now, and it does a pretty good job of picking up the tone in the room. So um, he can use my condenser mic to give you guys a, an idea of what this is actually going to sound like. If I want to try to thicken that up even more... Um, I can just put a lead boost on. Right. Yep. I mean, Fender amps are known for taking pedals, so whatever you throw at it, let's see what happens. Want to get into some 80s rock, baby? For fun, sure. <laughs> hey, you gotta have some fun stuff, man. All right, um, that inspires you. What's this one? I don't like that one. So we'll change that one. That was a vibrato. But uh, probably a boost is what we're looking mm -hmm. for, right? Or we could use a. Uh, now, do you want to keep the pedals in order from one amp to the next so that you kind of know what you're doing from switching amp to amp? Yeah. So your first one should probably be the boost. clean boost that you want, okay. and the second one can be, uh, as long as you're not going to throw distortion at it, then the second one can be your um, fun effects if you want, or any of the other ones. C again. Yeah, my, my thought would be to try to stick the pedals that you know you like, and we keep reusing similar pedals in the uh, perspective okay. spot so that here's, you know where you're going. Yeah. Here's what I'm doing. I have copy and paste. So I selected what was in A and okay. copied it. Now I'm going to try to paste it into C, which is where I had my other. Yeah. So we're going to paste. And now it's in C. Good deal. So that worked. That's cool. So turn that off, turn that off, and we'll just put a boost in A. Because that's where my boost goes. Lead 
boost, you think? Pedal boost, pure boost, treble default, solo confidence. Let's do a confidence boost. Okay. Who doesn't need a good confidence boost? <laughs> something in the second one to help my humbucker position yeah. right now. The humbucker is just a bit heavy. Heavy. So what can I use to compression? EQ, EQ it. it. I would EQ it. Alright, so let's try to EQ this. Um, so EQ 112 into a 4x12. <laughs> EQ 412 into a 1x12. Bass noise cut. Cut the mix, graphic default, no default, no boomy E through A, rhythm mix, soft things. Oh, well, there's some weird mid boost, bass boost, vintage mix. I just say, well, let's just try one here. Not so bad. That sounded good. What'd you do? This is the um, it's an equalizer of some sort. It was the uh, bass noise cut. Oh, perfect. So, and this is all the factory settings that they had on it, right? Correct. So this is without the without EQ. the EQ with the EQ. With the EQ on. Still there, but. Can you bring the bass down a little bit more? Maybe. Um, if it's an EQ, it should give you a bass middle treble, right? What are they called? Frequencies? 80 hertz, 160 yeah. hertz, 320 hertz, 640 hertz. I think the far left would be your bass and the far right would be your treble. <laughs> Let's just go with that. <laughs> So, yeah, bring those down just as far as... Okay, go the other way with them. See what that does. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'm digging that one. What's this one called? Nope. It's getting better. That's too much going on there. Right. Yeah, it's just muddy. It's still a lot there, but it's a little, you can almost hear this higher strength. Better than you can. So <clears throat> here I got a low gain, low frequency, high gain, high frequency. Low gain, take it down. Let's try it. Go to your 
your bridge position in play. I want to hear the difference. With the EQ on? Yeah, let's just hear it. I want to see what happens. Okay. So you need to know in this Don't use it pedal <laughs> form, and you only use this on the neck pickup. I'm going to take that off. There's your high bright stuff. Now switch the pedal on and go to your neck pickup. Done. I like it. Yeah, because you don't want to make the neck pickup sound like the bridge pickup, because then why are you even switching to it? So you want it to be a little... Well, you know, Keith never makes a switch on his. It's just nope. the other looks, some people say. And he's going to be wearing it that way real soon. What do you think? What does Keith do with his Telecaster anyways? Does is anybody this... know? What does this pickup doing anyways? Does he use it? I never see him in any position but the bridge. And I only seen anything but a white little Stratocaster thing on there too. Too bad you haven't put that on yet. Well. I suppose. You want to get real technical? Now it's a Keith Richard guitar. Alright, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one. Wanna uh, take a look. I'll take a look at gander it. Gander at that. Your luthier will look at your job. Alright. Hey! Whoa. Did you see that video? I did, man. That video rocked. It was awesome, man. If you like it and want to hear more and see more, you should check us out. Over there somewhere. Somewhere on here. Where did my head go? Oh. You're just ahead. Yeah, but now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs>